The UCCNC plugin is now available for the Rapid Change Automatic Tool Changer magazine. Once you get it mounted in position on your table, setup is quick and easy. I'm just going to open the dust cover and we'll test the input pins. First we'll check the IR sensor and then the tool setter. The IR sensor is on port 1 pin 15 and the probe is on the probe pin. I have the dust cover motors wired to my A axis for this demonstration. I'll close it now with a G53 move and we will set things up. Open the settings tab. Check the box run the tool change macro. Click apply the settings. Then click save settings. Open the configure plugins tab. Scroll down and open the rapid change ATC configure screen. Make sure your units match what you have set up in UCCNC. I am using millimeters. Set the number of tool pockets and the offset distance between centers. For ER11, this is 38 millimeters. I am aligned along the X axis and the direction from pocket 1 to pocket 2 is negative on my machine. Enter the machine coordinates for the center of pocket 1 in X and Y. The Z engage value will be in machine coordinates and is the position found using the spacer included with the magazine. Z move to load is the height that you want the spindle to rise to after unloading the current tool and moving to the next tool across the magazine. Z safe clearance is the height you want the spindle to rise to before moving to and from the magazine. In this example, I am using an 800 watt spindle and ER11 collets. You can find a speeds and feed chart on our website. Let's enable the tool setter. If aligned along the X axis, the tool setter will be the same distance from pocket one as the offset we entered. So I'll add that value to pocket one. Y will be the same. Z seek start is the height at which you want to begin the probe function. Z move to probe is the height that the spindle will rise to after loading a tool before moving over the tool setter. Set tool offset is the distance between the trigger and the top surface of the machine bed. Once the tool length is established, the tool should touch the machine bed at Z zero in the current work offset. This value of 50.4 millimeters gets you close, but you will have to calibrate it with a gauge block of some kind. Set the seek feed rate, seek retreat, set feed rate, and seek max distance with whatever works for you. Let's enable tool recognition. Zone 1 will be approximately 30 millimeters above Z and gauge, and Zone 2 will be 38 millimeters for ER11 magazines. I will have a chart on the website with approximate values for ER20 and ER16. For a more in-depth explanation, you can watch my tool recognition video. I am using port 1 and pin 15 on this machine. If you are operating the dust cover with an output, choose the appropriate port and pin. I will be testing our logic board we are hoping to have available soon and will control it with port 1 and pin 1 on this machine. To operate it on an axis, choose the axis and the open and closed position values. These should work with every magazine. Now we can just close these windows and we're done. Since tool 1 is in the spindle, we will have to let UCCNC know it's in the spindle. We include an M61 macro that allows you to set the current tool. Let's change to tool 2. Type the tool number you wish to load in the box left of change tool and hit enter. Click change tool. It's that quick and easy to set up. It took us less than five minutes to configure. Now you're on your way with the rapid change automatic tool changer system. Use it once and you'll never go back. Happy tool changes. Thanks for watching.